Hey there, Postal here. What kind of battle are we in? Really? We are just in a battle chocked full of tier 8s, and now we're against bots. Alright. Well, that'll let us, uh, I suppose, dictate the battle a little bit more. We can test out these guns. So the American machine guns have been buffed. This particular plane is an extreme for the American machine guns anyway. There's 14 50 caliber, 12.7 you know, millimeter machine guns on this plane. Uh, and they all got a damage and range buff, so pretty silly in my opinion. In fact, just talking about it makes me wonder, is this even really a good plane to test it out on? Because this plane used to do, used to do a ridiculous amount of damage anyway. Um, and as we can see there, it still does a ridiculous amount of damage, plus some. Um, can one pass these air defense aircraft? It's only 350 hit points. That is nothing for something that's able to do 800 damage a second almost now. And so, yeah. Machine guns are no. Um, this plane is putting out a lot of damage. Basically feels like you've got a, some heavy cannons on the front, but no, it's just a plethora of machine guns. So let's go for something with a little bit more oomph to it. Something with some, some hit points. It's a tier 7 bomber. And it pretty well melts. Alrighty. Uh, let's go for the chunkiest tier 7 bomber. Two thousand hit points. All right, one thousand hit points. All right. Well, okay then. So let's get a dive on here. Let's drop our bombs. Let's drop our rockets. Let's get this sector taken. Shall we? Bombs away. I do actually wonder uh, what kind of damage these guns can do to the ground. Uh, but that's for another time. Let's go ahead and use our speed. Try to get some altitude back here. Let's see what else is inbound. Uh, I'm going to go for this bomber again, because why not? I'm on 166 health. That's why not, Postal. But we're going to just test out just how quickly we can knock this plane out. The answer is very quickly. Holy cow. We were attacking, of course, from uh, a reasonably good angle there. Not necessarily the best angle by any means, but reasonably good. Wow. Um, yeah, I guess 14 machine guns will do that, though. 14 machine guns with a little bit more range. Uh, keep getting this bomber. Just gonna do a flying pass there. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't get into his rear gunner too much. Gonna dive down here. Uh, the GAs and bombers are all tier seven, so that's you know, no complaints basically. But kind of complaining considering I want to test out the full capabilities of the plane. Uh, the rear gunner here is hurting me worse than the rear gunner on the B-32. Obviously, the um, gun buffs do not buff your survivability. Other than hopefully killing the thing in front of you even quicker than you would have previously. Go ahead and melt. We've got... Those bombers back and inbound. Uh, we need to get our health back. Let's get some health back. Uh, B-32 again. I guess we're just going to keep going for the chunkiest of the uh, the enemies here since we've got the big damage output now. We had big damage output before anyway. We're attacking this guy from a 
the perfect spot. Um, all right, so maybe we should focus on the win. <laughs> We've gotten our Hero of the Sky some decent personal points. Uh, so we're going to get an extra candy cane type situation, but we need to get the sectors captured. Enough testing, basically. Now we need to go for the capping. So we need to ABC. Thank you. Come again. Uh, let's get our boost back on here. Let's see if we can't capture the center. Oh, look, we captured the center. Ooh, it looks like there's a heavy fighter inbound. Oh, no. Turn on him. We've got better maneuverability than he's got, so that's good. Excelente. Let's move on here. Want to try to capture the command center. No. Don't need to be crashed into. Push along, push along. We've got our bombs and our rockets back. But it's about these guns right now, baby. It's going to start aiming in front of this guy. I'm going to fire early because they are machine guns and they will not overheat. Oh, pff, fine. I don't want to fire my rockets anyway. Joikes. Um, get our boost on here. There we go. Let's actually get our new medic control assist here so we can outturn this guy. This is not a very turny multi role fighter that I'm up against. And I am in a very turny heavy fighter. So using my pneumatic control assist there is going to set me up for success. Um, we've got some health back, but not quite enough to just throw around. They've got the mining facility, so we definitely need to try to get that back. Although we're up by a decent chunk of points. Um, I think we've uh, done pretty well to showcase <laughs> 14 ridiculous machine guns. Um, what is the plane that you're trying to target here, buddy? See if we can't get on over here and drop the bombs. Boop. Boop. Oh, that bomb's a little bit um, too far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Uh, let's try to capture this sector really quick. We'll move along. And then we'll turn back around. We set up our, our um, bomber and GA for success there at the mining facility. Wish this guy was heading towards me rather than away. But c'est la vie. Yeah, we've definitely got this in the bag now. Um, got some other aircraft floating around here. We haven't lost any aircraft. Yay. Yeah, so, I mean, this is to the extreme, right? Uh, this is going to be the biggest gun impact. I do want to also test out things like the P-40. That's getting, uh, you know, it got buffed. Uh, test out things like the PADA for sure. But it shows you can do a, a reasonable amount of, of. You can see the impact. Um, we were able to completely dictate that battle, but we knew that from the beginning, being an all bot battle. Um, and the P82 is just a, an absolute beast anyway. Wasn't able to do uh, full ground damage like I typically try to focus on in the P82, but we wanted to see these guns. Let's head on back. Disconnected from the server. Well, how cool would it have been to, you know, see the end results of that battle? Oh, well. We'll just bury the frustration deep down. Anywho. 
Uh, so yeah, extreme output of 14 50 caliber machine guns leads to, uh, you know, 14 times the damage buff. Um, definitely, uh, definitely impactful there, right? Really wish we could have seen the actual amount of damage that we uh, put out there. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, um, this, this plane put out some pretty decent damage previously. Just feels like, honestly, you've probably got like, I don't know, six 20 caliber machine guns instead of 14, uh, you know, 50 caliber machine guns. Obviously, the range is still shorter than 20 millimeter cannons, um, but extreme damage output there. Let's go from something like that to something that's just, you know, kind of basically more standard as far as the plane is concerned. This is our P51H. Uh, maybe the game won't crash after we're done with this battle, and maybe I'll have some end results for you. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at what this plane does in, uh, in battle now. All right, so we are taking a look at the P-51H now, and uh, seeing if we notice any kind of huge nifty fun differences with these 50 caliber machine guns. And uh, yeah, we just see we've got a P-51H on the enemy team there. And um, I'm not surprised. I would like to think that, um, I mean, it is a silly time on a Thursday, uh, so we're not going to have a lot of pilots out here. Anyway, um, but I'd like to think we're probably going to be seeing a lot more American fighters, just to, if it's people testing them out or what, uh, just to see what's going on. So the plane I, I pretty much liked anyway. Great altitude performance, great speed, just passable enough uh, maneuverability. So, does the damage output change anything? Or is it noticeable? That was pretty quick, right? Um, what I like about 50 caliber machine guns is you can start firing them ahead of time. Because you're not going to overheat, right? If you try to fire too soon with 30 millimeter cannons, you're going to regret your life choices. Is this guy just AFK? Don't tell me. Don't. You're insulting the P-51H, dude. Alrighty. Um, can we go... Ooh, that XP-72's got a buff to its guns as well. Um, let's see what we can do here. TU-2. Hmm. Let's go for the bomber. Got some help here from somebody behind us, but we're going to see if we can't put some damage out here. Before his bombs land, anyway. Meh. Again, not 100% sure I see a difference yet. I mean, I know there's a difference. I've seen the difference in some other planes I've flown. And again, that was against a bomber. Head here. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell it. Is anybody else shooting at this 265? Because that was actually very quick. I feel like somebody else must have been shooting at him. That's really funny. We're getting the sector by killing planes. Um, and we got a defense skill, so we'll take it. There's a multi-roll. SU-9, so yeah, that guy could have been helping. P-51H on the enemy team is wasting his potential. Uh, Yak-3, let's go get him knocked out. Stay in the center here. And let's see what we can do versus this 4190. I mean, I'm definitely doing less. So typically what you have to do in a P-51H or any of the American heavy, uh, excuse me, light fighters is you have to be prepared to 
um, boom and zoom without the boom part. You're just zooming. And what I mean by that is, since your guns are so anemic um, and you're playing so fast, you need to be prepared to just you know hit a guy and just keep going. And, and you know if it's a ground attacker or a heavy fighter, you eventually turn around and, and come back and get him. You get the maneuver ability to do that. If it's a light fighter, you just keep on keeping on because they can typically outmaneuver you. Um, I am noticing I'm not having to do as many um, situations where I just keep on keeping on. Um, and I don't know, I mean, this is my first game in the P-51H since the buff, so I don't know if it's specific to the guns at this point, or if I've just had some nice friendlies that have been helping me um, you know, take down enemy aircraft. It's hard to tell. Try to get some. I really do wish the enemy P-51H would load in. That would be epic, but can only do what you can do. Uh, let's stop going. I mean, I'm going after the ground attackers more than I normally would, just to see the damage, just to see if uh, you know, against something that's got a higher health pool and more armor. You know, what kind of uh, what kind of impact do these guns have? It's not typically who I go for, but um, it's not a crazy thing to try to go after in this plane right now. The guns, uh, at least the versus tier 7 ground attackers, seem to be doing pretty okay. Let's go ahead and try to get this uh, 1056. 1056 doesn't have a chance against this unless he turns around sooner rather than later. You know, we've probably actually got more speed than him. Especially at this altitude. And yeah, getting the guns on target is uh, a good thing, right? So let's go after... This plane does really like going after heavy fighters. Ugh. Except for ones that are trying to shoot you with their 57mm cannon. Um, let's go ahead and... Put ourselves in a position. Oh yeah, that is. There's got to be something else shooting at it. Okay, yeah, there's some heavy fighters. I wish I, just leave me alone, everybody. Let me do my thing. But then again, I mean, so when you're in a P-51H or, or a lot of your fighters, you're going to be, um, you know, part of a group at all times anyway. So seeing that damage output mixed with other people's damage output is probably, you know, the best representation of this plane anyway. Um, oh, Kyle, please, fingers crossed that the end plates actually stick. Don't kick me out. So, first game in the P-51H. Uh, it didn't really, as far as, you know, having to utilize the, the characteristics of the airframe... Not really working it, right? But as far as looking at the guns, uh, it was good to try to go after those, those high health pool targets. Let's head back. All right, so we were getting, we got two more, two more crane. Oh, no, we need two more. We got one more. Excellent, good job. 17 kills there, right at 17. So I got that Marseille there. Um, really wish that guy would have loaded in, but oh well. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the damage output there seemed noticeable uh, not you know making this plane like overpowered or anything like that but it was definitely noticeable let's try one more plane uh we're gonna try the p40 here at tier five and see what kind of shenanigans we can get ourselves into now uh this plane unlike my last two planes is not specialized uh, doesn't have crazy pilot or anything like that uh, whoa, what is, wait, wait, what is going on? Oh, I got, is that, whoa, that's pretty cool. So it lights up and tells you that we are now doing some other shenanigans. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess we, we passed that a little while ago. We just got ourselves an F2A-1 Buffalo. Yay. Uh, and we're moving along in our nifty little plane here uh, to see what we can see and do what we can do. So as you get further along, you'll get your active mission. So right now we are getting a 10% buff to credits earned. So that's a nice thing. Definitely a nice thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and 
test out our P40 and see what kind of shenanigans we can get ourselves into. All right, so we are taking out our P40 and seeing if uh, we can have a, a positive impact on this battle. It is a tier five battle, so that's definitely going to be a good thing for us. We don't have any meta fighters to go against here. Got a heavy fighter on the enemy team, a, a BF-110E, a very strong heavy fighter. Hoping that we would uh, run into BF-109E, a MiG-3, Planes like that. Let's see what kind of uh, shenanigans we get ourselves into. One thing that you have to remember um, if you have any of these planes is the buff to the guns does not buff anything else, right? It doesn't make you speedier, doesn't more make you tankier, doesn't make you more maneuverable. And so don't, uh, you know, just go throwing yourself into battles against Yaks and BF109Es uh, just because you've got a buff to your guns in the, the range. As we get ourselves separated from the rest of the group, we don't have you know 12 planes shooting at one target. Uh, we'll we'll see and get more and more information about the guns for any of these planes that we're trying to fly today. Uh, they've got some red here, so clearly something going on. Oh, hello, sir. You're coming back towards me. I'll take advantage of that. Up, uh, snuck that in there. There's a BF-109B. Did I realize that? Just keep our keep on keeping on. I feel like everybody and their brothers on me here. We're actually gonna move away from here because they. Uh, Yeah, they've got too many fighters now, and we're not in a turn fighter. So let's head to the center. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can't knock out Philip or Flip or whatever this guy's name is. Uh, dang it. Still, um... Not doing a whole ton of damage there. Had to do a second pass on each of these guys. Oh, this guy here. How are you doing? I'm go play a ground attacker, but not really. Oh, we got the sector, so that's good. Fortunately, we are going to die here. I think. Sure seems like it. Oh, we are pulling away slowly. P36. You doing specialized P36? Besides wasting time. Um, I don't want to go after him. I actually want to get this sector. We need to be capturing sectors. Let's get these air defense aircraft knocked out first. There we go. Now we can get the actual red aircraft. We'll get some defense kills here. Let's see, of course, he gets out of the sector. P40 actually got a buff as well. when their team has good teamwork. So frustrating. Shoot. I know my engine's knocked out, so I'm just toast. Alright, so let's crash and reload. Let's see what we can do. Not noticing uh, nearly the impact of the guns at this level as it did at tier 8. And then again, um, you know, obviously at tier 8. Oh, they've got both bombers? Oh, they've got two bombers. Oh, good grief. They've got three bombers now. 
That's hilarious. All right. I'm going to go ahead and catch up to this PE2. See what we can do to him. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with that. Maybe one day you'll be good enough to play a ground attacker. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, let's see if we can't get this sector. Actually. Um, I really wish I had some maneuverability. Oh, come on. Where did you even come from, dude? can pull this out. It's just going to take some work and some teamwork that my team doesn't seem to have. But we have try. I can't give up, man. We also have 12 seconds before squall line, so this guy right here. Hope you enjoy the squall line, sir. I don't know. Maybe if you had some sort of altitude with your uh, bomber, you'd be able to do some more bombery type damage. Unfortunately, even with his questionable bomber decisions, we will, we're on pace to lose this battle pretty handily. So we need to just be like no cap kill all. Well, we need to cap and kill. We need to do everything. Can't kill this guy first. There we go. They've almost got us. I know they've almost got us. Thank you, sir. I have another pearl of wisdom. And we need to capture this sector, unfortunately. Excellent. Hey. Come on. Uh, can we trust him to get killed? Yes. We need to actually capture sectors quickly. So I'm going to try to help this guy capture this. Right now, the airbase is no better than any other sector. We need to get our boost back on. This guy's. Oh, shoot. Don't die, dude. Don't die, dude. Don't die, dude. Oh, there's a heavy fighter up north. You died, dude. You did what I asked you not to do. Why'd you do that? I know he's alive a lot longer than I thought he would be, actually. Come on, a little bit of range buff. Set him on fire, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Excellent day. Okay, now we've got that heavy fighter. Will that give us enough time to kill this heavy fighter? Where is this heavy fighter? Is that that heavy fighter? Is that him right there? It is. Oh, he's so far away. Why is he so far? Get over here! 
Uh, I've used all my boost to try to get over here. Now I might not have enough to get up to him. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, what an annoying battle. I don't know if the guns helped. I think they probably did. They must have because you've got 20% buff to your damage. 10% buff to your range. Again, the range, I think, is what helps more. Especially when you're in a, a lower tier and you're a little bit slower. Getting, uh, getting quote-unquote closer to the enemy is is what I know got me a couple kills there and at least helped me do some damage. So, wow. Let's head back. <laughs> that was nuts. All right. So, two more candy canes. Yay. Uh, we'll keep on keeping on there. 18 kills this time. Fortunately, died. Oh, very close to specialist on this plane, which apparently you desperately need. Because, um, man, these, these two guys... This P-36 was able to outmaneuver me, which is frustrating. Um, I didn't really... I only ran into this guy when uh, at the very end. But, yeah, I feel like... I feel like I mean, we won that, and I still feel like we barely won that, right? I think uh, we won that, not necessarily because of my strengths... Uh, but because I was just able to catch out the enemy. So almost because of their mistakes more than my strengths. But yeah, so I noticed the range difference on this particular plane more than the damage difference. It could also be because I don't play the P40 all that often, but I definitely did notice a range difference. Uh, just being able to get some of those machine gun hits in places I definitely know I wouldn't have been able to previously. And so, yeah. Cool. Uh, you know, are any of these changes world changing? Is this going to make the P40, uh, you know, the meta tier five fighter? I highly doubt it. Is it going to make, um, is it going to make the, the, the P51H the best tier eight um, fighter? That's a possibility, to be honest. P51H has a lot going for it. It's got great altitude and great airspeed reasonable like passable maneuverability and now you know being able to put out more damage at a slightly longer range um you know could very well turn the p51h into the best tier 8 fighter which is weird to say um i haven't flown the f86 yet i didn't want to fly the f well let's let's word this properly i wanted to fly the f86 for this video but you guys already know that I think the F-86 was the best tier 10 fighter. So what is me going to look at the tier, in my mind, the tier, the best tier 10 fighter? And now it's even better. Well, so of course I'm going to say it's still the best. I'm not going to like retract that statement. So I wanted to look at some planes just to see the extreme. Uh, you know, from down here at tier 5, uh, taking a look at the P-40 all the way to the other extreme where we're looking at something like a P-82B that just puts out volumes of firepower now. 868 damage um, on this particular plane setup. Um, the thing with something that I do want to touch point on uh, really quickly before I end the, ba end the video, if you're still here past all my rambling, is keep in mind the American machine guns I'm not sure if this is true of every plane, but almost every single plane for the, that, that can have American machine guns cannot get an equipment slot for guns, forward firing weapons. So this is true of the F-86, the P-51, the P-40. None of those get fire, forward firing weapon slots. So what this essentially did was kind of basically give everybody a gas operated action um, an ultimate gas operated action on their American fighters and, and some heavy fighters. Um, so try to think of it in that term and then you can kind of notice, okay, well, that's, that's, that's a pretty big difference suddenly now in your head, right? And so, yeah, the cumulative damage on this plane is 868. Uh, God forbid that it had forward firing weapon equipment slot because I'd put gas operated action on here and get it up above a thousand easily and my brain would explode and so would yours uh, but i did want to just take a look at the 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 extremes here we've got the 14 machine guns here take a look at you know your standard tier 8 american fighter in the p51h and the standard tier 5 american fighter in the p40 so you can see kind of the differences 
be mindful of that range. That's, I think, going to be something that's going to save your bacon um, in those times where you need your bacon saved. And then that 20% extra damage buff that you're getting um, is just going to help you out in all the other situations. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. Really sorry that I was not able to get a end plate for the P50, uh, excuse me, P82B. Uh, but rest assured, it was a good game, as you could see against the bots. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate you hanging out with me today. I'd love to hear your perspective on the changes. Is this uh, something that you've taken out your American fighters? Did you already sell all your American fighters and now you're contemplating buying them back? Um, I'd really like to hear your perspective on the changes um, and if it's changed your mentality on these planes. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.